sat through this trial basically twice now. You yeah. sat through Grant Hayes' trial. Yeah. Um, is there any sense of relief now that you have two people in prison for well, your daughter? This criminal? case has got a long ways to go yet. It's not done. I'm not, I'm not going to get into what I'm going to do, but at the same time, this is not done. Tell us well, about your daughter <laughs> and what you want us to remember about her. Excuse me. Take your time. One of my favorite things that we used to do, we'd go to a park and there'd be tree stumps. And you go at the right time of the year and you see butterflies all over those tree stumps. We'd sit there and watch them, just talk and have a good time. You Mr. miss Eggers. her a lot. How can you not? I'm pleased that the jury rejected the defendant's assertions and found Amanda responsible for what she did in this case. It was a, a deplorable case, and we're, we're pleased that um, some justice was served. And there's some people that wonder if she say that she, if she says that she didn't actively kill Laura Ackerson, how can she be guilty of second degree or first or second degree murder? Well, I think the jury rejected her words, and that was the clearest thing that came out today. Was that her act and her sentences from the, the witness stand were rejected by the jury and. Um, I think that it's clear by the jury's verdict that they believe she had her hands in this and she was involved not just with the dismemberment of Laura Ackerson, but with her death. What about the apology, Becky? What do you think about the apology? I didn't think much about the apology. I mean, now she, as the judge said, she had the opportunity to save Laura's life. I mean, at the very least. And she gets up here now and says, I'm sorry everybody had to go through this. There were so many opportunities where she could have, you know, gotten help or gotten, you know, gone to, to people and, and look for help and um, given Laura's family um, a situation where they wouldn't have had to go through this. And how do you guys feel hearing them say that she was a victim in this as well? It's, it, to, to be perfectly candid and honest, it's infuriating. You know, people go through a lot in their lives and you saw the pictures of during their trip, how they were having a celebration on the way back after they had gotten Laura out of their lives. And so it's, it's infuriating for us and we have to sit there quietly and Laura's family has to sit there quietly and today is a little bit of peace that they get knowing that justice has been served.